obviously getting back on the field last week when you take you're basically out for a month like that. Mm -hmm. What's the difficulty in trying to work your way back on the field? Um, just playing football at that type of speed and high level. Um, there's a it's a little different than just practicing, um, just because you know you're facing a team that you know is going to give you the best shot, especially when you're pay playing Ohio State. So um, playing at a speed like that um, and intensity, intensity up like that at a away stadium, nonetheless. So um, that's probably the biggest thing, getting back into the swing of things. When we would see you before games and you'd be working out, what are you trying to figure out? How, how you're trying to figure out whether or not you can go in a game and you're going through those warmups. What are you trying to check it out and see if? It's um, it's kind of it's kind of a joint thing. Um, ultimately, you know, I'm gonna want to play every Saturday. I'm sure you guys saw me out there, Penn State. I mean, I was giving them my best shot. Um, but you know, ultimately, um, Coach Hart felt like you know Carnell and Xavier Johnson are you know um, nothing short of amazing you know players who can uh, are more than capable of stepping in um, and having a huge impact. And they've done a great job over this over this last month. And they're gonna continue to be a do a great job. You know, they're a special part of this offense and you know we're gonna get them involved in any ways that we can. So Nick, what do you say when they tell you that it's not happening? Um you know, sometimes I'm just kinda of bummed. Um, but you know, I understand where they're where they're coming from and it's you know, it's deeper than just uh, you know, going out there and playing a game. You know, if you if you feel good enough, you might not, you know, look the part. You don't wanna put anything bad on film or anything like that. Um, and you, you don't want to certainly make any injury worse than are you. I know how badly you want to play against Penn State because of how big that game was. Is there, are you, were you able to, I don't know, rationalize it and think, well, there's, there's going to be a bigger game at the end of November or whatever's coming down the pike. Like, maybe it'd be better for me to sit this one. Did, did you able, did you get to that point? Um, at that point in time, my only goal was to play for Penn State. So, um, I'm actually, you know, I'm proud of the way I handled this injury, and I'm, I'm thankful for the people who are in my corner during it. But um, I'm, you could ask anyone in the facility. I would, I would be here at 7 a.m. and I would leave at 9 p.m. And I wasn't doing anything physical. I was all just doing rehab on my ankle because um, I was so de determined to play for Penn State. I knew I wouldn't make it back for Purdue, um, but I knew Penn State I had a shot, and um, you know, a, a shot was really all I could ask for. And I was, I was. Um, you know, pretty glad of the way it turned out. Do, do you, seven seven do you, to nine p.m. is a lot of time you, to be here yeah. for rehab. What are the things you're doing? Um, you know, icing. Um, you know, range of motion type stuff. Um, we have a red light machine that's supposed to enhance um, recovery. Float tank. Um, watching film just to make sure I'm ready for Penn State. Watching film in Penn State. Um, you know, just spending all my all my time in here to make sure I could you know optimize that. Do you, do, you know, mo do you know so much more about recovering from an injury now than you did five weeks ago? You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, absolutely. I mean, uh, patience may be the key word, right? Yeah, there's a there's a there's a couple of dudes with ankles on this team as well, so I've yeah. been giving them pointers a little bit about yeah. how to get it better. Um, but no, yeah, it's been great. I've learned a lot, um, and I'm super grateful for the the guys who have helped me come this far, especially our training staff. Okay, yeah, you may have been asked this before I walked up, but how close were you to 100% last week? Did you feel close to? You know what I mean? How you yeah. felt in the opener? I mean, just how close are you? Yeah, no, I thought I felt good. Um, I was warming up, and it was the best I felt, you know, uh, up to this point. Um, and there's no, really no doubts in my mind if, you know, something else doesn't happen that I'm going to feel uh, great this coming Saturday, too. So um, each week has been better than the last. So. How, how much were you practicing, like, leading up to that Penn State game? Uh, I, hadn't, I hadn't practiced. Um, I hadn't practiced at all. Okay. Yeah, but I knew all the plays. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you finally get back out there. And you know you have really high expectations Thanks, for yourself, but you also understand that you have to get back to the speed of the game. How do you kind of compartmentalize that? Like, okay, I'm back out here, but I might not have the production I want because mm -hmm. you know I'm still getting used to, to the flow of the game mm -hmm. and the speed of the game, like you were four or five weeks ago. Yeah, I don't really think about it that way, to be honest with you. If I'm on the field, um, I expect to play at a level, no matter what my body feels like, because I expect to, um, you know, if, if I'm out there in my mind, I'm 100. percent So I'm going as hard as I can every play. Um, and I'm doing what my team needs me to do and expects me to do. So I guess that's kind of the, the crux of it. Like you, you expect that from yourself, but then when you, you, uh, I'm not saying you didn't play well, but when mm -hmm. you don't see the production that you had in the Notre Dame game and a couple mm -hmm. games before that, do you just kind of say, okay, I understand like that I had to ramp back up. Now I yeah. can kind of go back to the drawing board, go full speed again this week. Yeah, State. right. I mean, there's a lot of components that go into that. Um, for one, you know, Rutgers was sitting in cover two all day. You know, I was one of the leading receivers with 29 yards. So, um, you know, there's that component of it. Um, but I felt 
um, even though we may have not, you know, got the production per se, I felt that my routes were there. Um, I felt capable um, and able to play the game that I know I'm doing well. This might be the same question. How do you keep, how do you keep trying to make up for lost time in a game? Um, there's no really need for, for pressing, I would say. Um, I'm not here to get accolades. I'm not here to, you know, make my name highly touted and, uh, you know, win the Belindikoff and all that type of stuff. I'm here to win championships, um, glorify the name of Jesus Christ. That's really all my, my purpose is to do on this team. So um, whatever my team needs me to do that given week, that's what I'm going to do. Had, had you ever missed that much time or that many games? I've never missed a game, I don't think. So, like even in high school? Uh, yeah, no, I've never missed a game. <laughs> so we, well, that must have been a new experience. Yeah, it was. It kind of sucked. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. My birthday was the Purdue game also. Oh. So there's a lot of stuff going on. But um, no, I'm grateful to be where I'm at right now. Um, I've learned a lot through this experience. and um, I was able to support my team in a way that I hadn't before, you know, because you have a different role. You have a role in supporting and, and coaching the younger dudes so that they're ready for when that moment comes. So like I said, I've learned a lot. Um, I'm super grateful for this moment. I'm grateful to be here, and I'm grateful to be playing again. You know, um, football is one of my one of my passions, um, probably my biggest passion. So, um, you know, it really puts a lot of stuff into perspective. What's, what was harder, the, all the hours in the rehab or having to watch from the, the sideline and not being um, I was doing my best to, you know, be the supportive teammate that my teammates needed. Um, so, you know, I was trying to produce a ton of ed energy on the sideline and um, just be engaged in that way. So I was actually having a good time at the games, seeing my guys you know, do their thing and, and produce like I know they're capable of. Um, so, you know, that part of it for me was great. Obviously, I want to be out there playing. Um, but, you know, the rehab did, you know, it took a toll, you know, on my mind um, and on my body, obviously. But, you know, in those moments, I was just leaning on the Lord um, and he was really bringing me through all that. When you, better down down against Maryland, when, you when you first go down against Maryland, first of all, were you trying to fight to get back on the field? Um, yeah, there. I was trying to like hop off the field, yeah. um, and all my coaches were like, because I I'm sure you guys saw I got hurt, and I was like limping over to the sideline, and I realized I couldn't run, and I didn't know why. Um, and my coach was just like, go down, go down. So I laid down for a second. I went in the tent, just trying to warm it back up, um, and you know, I I mean, I was trying to get back out there. I just I, you know, I wasn't able to at the time. So when you're they're having you go through stuff, whether you're getting on the bike or, anything, or just running up and down the sideline, what are they are they telling you what they're looking to see? let you know that you can or can't go back into the game? Yeah, uh, pretty much. You know, I had, there was, not really for the Maryland game, but for the leading up to the Penn State game, I needed to run full speed and I needed to be able to stop full speed. So that was really my test. Um, I had to do that in front of Coach Day and Coach Hart uh, to show them I was able to play at the, the level that I'm expected to play at. So those were really my tests for getting back on the field. When, when did you, you get, get back to practicing those? fully, like practicing normally? Sorry? When did you get back to practicing, like in a pretty normal way? I believe like, uh, maybe last week okay. when I was preparing for um, Rutgers. Uh, Rutgers, yeah. Okay. Wisconsin, I was practicing a little bit, but not full reps. Okay. You talked to other people in your corner uh, and throughout this whole process. Obviously, Coach Hart is a huge part of that. I, I saw that you guys talked after you tried to warm up for the Penn State game. He kind of talked to you for a long while out there on the field. In that kind of moment, I'm not asking you to share what he said, but like, what do you take from that conversation, like moving forward about the game and mm -hmm. your recovery and what Coach Hart you know, had yeah. to say to you? You know, I want to put on record that I was technically available for Penn State. So <laughs> um, if I needed to play, I definitely would have. Um, I felt probably about 80, 85 percent at the time. Um, but we felt as if, you know, the dudes who were you know, behind me had more than enough ability to be able to execute the job. So if one of them were to go down or if something we were in need of, any type of thing, I was I was there, I was ready. So um, my hair was on fire. Um, you know, it was the biggest game of the year at the time, um, and you know, I was just I was ready. I was excited. When did you, you say about your team that uh, they beat a defense like that? Without, like, uh, it says a lot, honestly. Um, I feel like there's been a a little bit of question about our offense this year, um, but you know we're we're undefeated. So I mean, um, if we continue to go on this road on this role, it doesn't really matter what our offensive production is um, because we'll be looking at something special come the end of the year. When you are available 